We've talked a ton about how Donald Trump and his movement continue to embarrass themselves every single day. We've talked about it for the past few months, if not longer. But yesterday absolutely takes the cake because they held a march and rally in downtown D.C. and basically no one showed up. I'm not exaggerating. There were more people there covering the event than actually participating in it. Some journalists noted that there were multiple journalists for every attendee. One person suggests that there were 600 journalists, but only like 20 people at the rally. Now, later on in the day, estimates went up to maybe one or 200 people showing up, but that's a rally in honor of the former president and his supporters. And it only managed to bring in a couple hundred people at most. And when you add police and media attendance, there were less people there for the event than there to cover and monitor the event. I've never seen that before. I've absolutely never seen that. And this event was supposedly about justice for the people of January 6th, that under the Democrats, under their leadership, these people are political prisoners. They're either totally innocent, or if they're not innocent, they're being given charges and penalties way above what's reasonable. And they had this march in honor of those people to protest for their release and for their freedom. And while Donald Trump didn't show up and indeed basically suggested this rally was going to be a failure, I think he was trying to have it both ways. Because less than 48 hours before this event took place, he put out an official press release endorsing the very premise of of this march and rally when he said our hearts and minds are with the people being persecuted so unfairly related to the January 6th protest concerning the presidential election. In addition to everything else, it has proven conclusively that we have our, we have a two tiered system of justice in the end. However, justice will prevail. And so what Donald Trump is saying there is, look, I'm not necessarily endorsing this rally. In fact, I'm not going. I'd rather be golfing. But the reason this particular rally is happening is correct, that our people are being mistreated. And so Donald Trump, I think, was trying to say if the rally ended up succeeding, he could say to himself and say to the media, I put out this press release and thousands showed up. And if it failed, Trump could say, well, I had nothing to do with it. I recommended not attending. But this is a failure for Trump because it shows that his cult can't even manifest people in support of those folks that did his bidding on January 6th, that the people who went to jail, who went to prison in some cases for Donald Trump, aren't getting any support from the movement, whether it's the official Trump apparatus or whether it's other Republican Congress people or whether it's the own rank and file of the movement. And so you can see that it's not really generating any organic presence. This shows how broken and how pathetic the movement is, that if this was supposedly about justice for political prisoners, they would be able to get more than 20 or 50 or 100 people out to a rally, and they would be able to get more people at the rally than the journalists there to cover it. So any way you slice it, this is humiliation for Donald Trump. If his people won't even come out for themselves, for the January 6th thugs that they're now painting as heroes, what does that say about the rest of the movement? And Donald Trump, he's going to have it both ways. And when his people fail, he's going to cut them loose because he is only about himself.